वन एंड ऑल प्रेजेंट है लेडीज एंड जेंटलमैन डिस्टिंग्विश डेलीगेट्स एंड स्टीम गेस्ट इट्स अ ग्रेट प्लेजर टू वेलकम यू टू द ओपनिंग सेरेमनी ऑफ द डेली पब्लिक स्कूल मॉडल यूनाइटेड नेशन कॉन्फ्रेंस डी पी एस एम यू एन इज अ फोरम वे यंग माइंड कॉन्वर्स टू टैकल ग्लोबल इशूज सिमिलेट इंटरनेशनल डिप्लोमेसी एंड फास्ट अंडरस्टैंडिंग अमंग डाइवर्स कल्चर्स एंड परस्पेक्टिव इट्स अ प्लेस वे फ्यूचर लीडर्स आर शेप एंड सोल्यूशन टू द वर्ल्ड मोस्ट प्रेसिंग प्रॉब्लम आर डिस्कस्ड As we open this conference, let us remember the importance of cooperation and open-mindedness. The world faces complex challenges, and it's through events like this that we practice the art of diplomacy and seek innovative solutions. Every delegate here is a diplomat, is a negotiator, and a visionary. This event is a testament to our commitment to nurturing the le- leaders of tomorrow. Let's start this event with a traditional sponsor. We request all the dignitaries and the secretariat members to join us on stage. Thank you. honorable dignitaries esteemed guests of honor distinguished delegates a very good morning to all of you i stand before you today with great pleasure and pride as we gather to inaugurate the very first model united nations of our institution the dps mun 2023 we'd like to invite on stage mr vijay dhar our venerated chairman and our esteemed principal mr fakaf shah to felicitate our guest of honor dr sarish askar Thank you ma'am for gracing the occasion with your presence. We are truly honored to host you. Ladies and gentlemen and esteemed delegates. It's my proud privilege to welcome you to the inaugural of DPS MUN. It's of immense pride that so many brilliant minds have gathered here. under the aegis of delhi public school sirlan my late father who is responsible for this school or his name is on this school late shri dp dhar was the first kashmiri to speak in united nation in 1951 i can't recollect after that as to how many kashmiris have spoken at the un So I think you are the future. I hope I see a lot of you delivering some speeches in the UN as well. It's my great privilege to introduce you, Ms. Sherish, the speaker guest today. She is the District Commissioner of Baramulla. Apart from that, her excellence is not measured in awards that she has got. I think she got one yesterday also. Awards are fine, but by the knowledge. she has gained the skills she has adopted and most important that she has adopted kashmir and she in my opinion can be the role model for all you boys and girls here i also want to make a request to her that if children of any school approach her for any advice she should not hesitate to do that i want to thank you all for being a part of this historic event i am sure dps mun will strive for excellence and shape the future each one of you will make a lasting impression in the world one day this is my prayer thank you so much thank you so much sir Ladies and gentlemen, we'd like to acknowledge the presence of Mr. Mureen Shah Miri, Kashmiri lifestyle blogger. We request Mr. Dhar and Ms. Shafak to kindly felicitate him. We are truly honored to invite on stage Dr. Sarish Askar. At the outset, I would like to extend my heartfelt appreciation to the DPS family. especially mr vijay dhar ji mrs kiran dhar ji principal dps shafak ji 
all the delegates who have come here, especially the students who have organized this MUN. I really appreciate DPS Srinagar for hosting such a wonderful event today. And let me tell you this MUN 2023, it's one of its kinds. And as Dharsar just said, that people have been talking about peace, about Kashmir, about so many issues. And I think this is the first time that children, students of our Kashmir are talking about peace, internationalism, brotherhood today. I really appreciate you, sir, Shafakji, and all of you for doing this for the very first time and becoming the torch bearer for so many other schools and not just schools, I think everybody in the society. I'm sure that such events and conferences will go a long way in promoting the culture of thinking critically on global issues, problem solving and encouraging students to relate to global issues, develop their own solutions for global problems and think of themselves as solution providers. In fact, the very reason that I came into civil services after being a doctor was that I never wanted to sit home and say that government is not doing this, this is the problem, the family is not doing this, society is not doing that. I wanted to be a part of the solution, part of decision making, part of an organization that can do something for the problems and not just sit and complain about the problems. I believe conferences like these will help our children in actively doing something about problems. It is very important for our generation to come, our future generation, and you all are our future, to think about problems in solution-oriented ways. If there are issues in the world, there are issues in your society, in your locality. You need to find a unique solution to that. Think about it. You should think globally, but act locally. That is very important. Kisi ne kya khub kaha hai? Ukabi ruh jab bedar hoti hai, javano mein. Nazar aati hai unko apni manzil asmano mein. In today's world, where there is so much knowledge, information, data, artificial intelligence at the click of a button. Conferences like these will help students to channelize this information on how to positively act on so much data that is available today. It will give them the right perspective which is based on brotherhood, internationalism, humanity, values of communal harmony, peace, need for peace, respect the other, especially in the current situation, world politics, our children need to realize that peace is essential for any kind of development. That we as humans, we need to empathize with others. We need to help others to live a humanly life. Our father of the nation, Mahatma Gandhi, rightly said, an eye for an eye will make the whole world blind. Today, I believe that this critical thinking in MUN will help our children to develop communication skills, skills in diplomacy, negotiation, articulation, build their confidence. I was so happy to see these young children here, confidently speaking, singing, presenting. That is what we need. We really need confident next generation. It will also help you in your career paths because character building is the cornerstone of any personality development. For any success in life, you need to have the strongest of personalities, strongest of characters. Thinking critically on global issues and positively articulating the solutions will help our children in any personal challenges they face. Maybe the pimples on their skin or difficulties in their competitions, exams, careers, 
whatever it may be there will be challenges in your life at every moment but if you have that solution oriented mind you will find a solution ramdhari singh dinkar one of my most favorite poets unhone bahut saralta se मानव के इस दृढ़ चरित्र को दर्शाया है सच है विपत्ति जब आती है कायर को ही दहलाती है शूरमा नहीं विचलित होते पल एक नहीं धीरज खोते विघ्नों को गले लगाते हैं कांटों में राह बनाते हैं है कौन विघ्न ऐसा जग में टिक सके वीर नर के मग में खम ठोंक ठेलता है जब नर पर्वत के जाते पांव उखड़ मानव जब जोर लगाता है पत्थर पानी बन जाता है आई एनकरेज आई एनकरेज ई चाइल्ड स्टूडेंट हु सिटिंग हियर इन द एम यू एन कॉन्फ्रेंस टू एक्टिवली लिसन नॉट जस्ट लिसन टू एक्टिवली लिसन पार्टिसिपेट एंड ऑल्सो इंप्लीमेंट सच प्रिंसिपल of respecting diverse perspectives respecting the other culture respecting the other region religion language in their lives careers and empathize a definite goal hard work empathy for others and a higher purpose than yourself these are the guiding principles of any successful life or any successful career I would definitely like to commend the organizers teachers mentors everyone who has helped to create such a beautiful environment today which will inspire our next generation to make this society a better place for each one to survive together ek ho jaye to ban sakte hain khurshid o mubi ek ho jaye to ban sakte hain khurshid o mubi वरना इन बिखरे हुए तारों से क्या बात बने थैंक यू सो मच वी नाउ इनवाइट ऑन स्टेज सैद अहमद इबाद बुखारी द सेक्रेटरी जनरल ऑफ पी पी एस एम यू एन फॉर इनग्रेटिंग दी वेल्थ माई नेम सैद अहमद इबाद बुखारी एंड इट्स बिन माई प्लेजर टू सर्व इन दैपेसिटी ऑफ द सेक्रेटरी जनरल ऑफ आर इनग्रेट डी पी एस एम यू एन एंड टू बी ऑनेस्ट द फैक्ट दैट दिस इवेंट इज हैपनिंग फील वेरी मैनमस टू because dps mun started out as a dream for three young kids who had their first mun we named it project kardashians and it was our dream that we thought would never come true and now seeing all of you here dressed up looking so dapper and sharp it feels like a dream come true and i could not have been happy muns are the best opportunity you have to learn how to change the world before i go on ahead any further I wouldn't be here without few very very special people my secretariat and I'd like all of you to meet them please we greet them with a warm round of applause First of all Khalid Khushi Sayed Ahmad Hussain Zara uh, Ahmad please join us on stage our head of technology and the under secretary of technology Zainab Fazila our head of public affairs and abdullah the guy with the sweetest accent ever our head of social media but to be honest this mun is happening because these guys exist there are also three individuals who are invaluable to dps mun three people who've made this possible who've gone through thick and thin with us so mera ma'am rafia ma'am and rana ma'am our teacher coordinators who have made this event a dream come true ladies and gentlemen this is dps mun what we want to do here what my thoughts and i think all of us share this legacy in our hearts is we are meaningless i'll be leaving next year i'm in class 12 kal will be leaving next year but these positions the role that we represent the model the bar that we're trying to set that is on all of you because i hope that next year or even in the years coming afterwards this event never stops happening it gets bigger it gets better and it gets grander and that duty falls on to all of you thank you everyone
and gentlemen, esteemed guests and distinguished uh, delegates, we are gathered here today to commemorate the finale of the Delhi Public Schools Model United Nations. I am Aisha and I am Faris. It's been an incredible journey and we are thrilled to be your hosts for this momentous occasion. Together, we witness the convergence of young minds from diverse backgrounds engaging in diplomatic discourse and creative problem solving. As we embark on this closing ceremony, let's join hands to celebrate the power of dialogue, diplomacy and global cooperation. Thank you for being a part of this remarkable event and let's make this finale a memorable one. Ladies and gentlemen, before we proceed with the closing ceremony, let's begin by welcoming our esteemed principal, Ms. Shafak Afshan, to share her thoughts. Ladies and gentlemen, distinguished guests and our talented delegates, a very good afternoon to all of you. As we conclude this year's DPS Model United Nations Conference, I want to express my heartfelt appreciation to everyone who has made this event a resounding success. Our delegates have demonstrated exceptional skills from diplomacy to critical thinking during their passionate debates and negotiations. I'm proud of the dedication and the hard work they have put in into this conference. You are the future leaders. And I have no doubt that you will make a positive impact in this world. I would like to extend my gratitude to the organizing committee, teachers, volunteers, for their tireless efforts in making this conference a success. I'm so proud of you all. Your dedication has not gone unnoticed and we are deeply appreciative of your hard work. In closing, I want to thank each and every one of you of your con contribution to this event. The success of DPSMUN is a testament to your commitment and your passion. I look forward to seeing the positive changes you make in bringing a global change in this world. Delegates, I see a bright future in you all. The way you take yourself and I would request you all, let's start one thought with each one of you and with rather each one of us. Let the change start from me. Because if we do it that way, then we'll bring peace, harmony and cooperation in the whole world. Thank you so much. Best of luck for your future endeavors. Thank you. Now we request Dar Sir and Principal Ma'am to kindly felicitate them. Their tireless efforts, dedication and passion have been the driving force behind the success of this model United Nations. Sumaira ma'am and Rehana ma'am, your commitment and hard work have not gone unnoticed. We
for the best delegate. Any guesses? Luxembourg. It is delegate of Luxembourg. Please join us in welcoming our school's International Affairs Coordinator, Ms. Sumara Naeem, for her insightful speech. So, respected faculty, honorable delegates, esteemed guests, and above all, my diligent students. As the curtains fall on our inaugural model United Nations Conference at DPS Srinagar, I find myself reflecting upon the profound impact of what we have achieved and the ripples it sends into the very heart of our Kashmiri community. Model United Nations is not just a forum for a debate, it's a crucible where futures are forged. Here, we don't merely discuss global problems, we embody the hope and the solutions that the world desperately needs. Today, you, my young delegates, you have not just represented countries, but you've also echoed the aspirations of a generation, particularly the youth of Kashmir. For Kashmiri children, for Kashmiri children, the significance of this MUN goes even deeper. Living amidst the rich tapestry of our history, culture and the challenges we've faced, you've been exposed to a narrative of resilience and strength. This MUN has offered you a global stage, a chance to channel our unique experiences into a constructive dialogue, to tell our stories, share our experiences and shape global narratives. Why is this important? Because while many around the world may speak about Kashmir, it's essential that Kashmir speaks for itself. Our youth, our future leaders need to be at the forefront of those conversations showcasing the depth, complexity and beauty of our land and its people. Today, this MUN has showcased the promise of what Kashmiri youth can achieve. You have displayed an extraordinary blend of passion, intellect and dis diplomacy, proving that despite the challenges we face, our spirit remains unbroken and our potential is boundless. While the world outside may sometimes seem divisive and polarized, within these walls, you have proven that dialogue, collaboration and compromise can indeed pave the way forward. To my educators, your guidance and mentorship have been the bedrock upon which these successes were built. You have nurtured these students, helping them find their voice in a world crowded with opinions. Let's carry forth the lessons learned, the friendships made and the voices amplified. I urge you all to continue raising your voices to champion dialogues that matter and to never shy away from our representing our unique and beautiful identity on the global stage. In the words of a Kashmiri proverb, Wuchun Yambarzal Wanwan Shubi, like the blooming lotus in spring, may you all continue to rise, bloom, illuminate the world with your wisdom and grace. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you, ma'am, for your kind words. Now we request Mr. Vijay Dhar, our venerated chairman, to share his thoughts with us. United Nations is very emotional to me. As I said the other day, my father, a true Kashmiri, was one of the first Kashmiris to address the United Nations. I think he was uh, probably 31 or 32 at that age. 1951. However, I so far in all these years thought probably DPS is the best. The children of DPS are the best. But boys and girls, what I saw yesterday I think you have a lot of competition. <laughs> I enjoyed a uh, couple of sessions yesterday and I must say that each one of you is just remarkable, wonderful. I mean, I'll again repeat that DPS has a lot of competition. And I hope 
you still win whatever you win. I never liked George Bush. <laughs> but having seen him work here, I think I'll change my opinion. <laughs> One thing I remember about George Bush, everybody would say that he's not hardworking. But this George Bush was really hardworking. <laughs> Now, ladies and gentlemen, I would request the principal and the organizers to make this into an annual event. I really... One thing, I don't know whether you've learned or not learned, what you need is the future is connectivity. You need to connect with each other. You need to learn from each other. I have learned a lot yesterday's session. I also tried to put in my two bits, which I apologize for the people who I criticized yesterday. I didn't mean it, but uh, it was just habit that I had to do the criticizing. The other thing that I remember in my childhood, when we had an attack from the Kabbalis, we used to guard the bridges with wooden rifles and all that we would say is Hamla our khabardar hum kashmiri hai tayar <laughs> ladies and gentlemen looking at all of you i mean i can't imagine that anybody outside the campus of this school can look so smart and so good i really feel proud for all the schools that have attended, I deeply feel obliged that you have taken the time and you have been allowed to do this, which is a great thing, really. Particularly, I have weakness for the girls. The girls just outperform the boys. Looking at all of you, there's another slogan that I remember of my childhood, which is Naya Kashmir. And looking at all of you, I have no doubt that Naya Kashmir has arrived. Thank you. Ladies and gentlemen, let's welcome the person who's been at the helm of Delhi Public School Model United Nations with great dedication. Mr. Said Ahmed Ibad Bukhari, the Secretary General of DPSMUN. Ladies and gentlemen, I honestly feel at a loss for words seeing all of you here because as I told you in the opening as well, this was a dream and now it is truly a dream come true. And I have all of you who've worked so hard, who've done so well and who've gone far beyond anything we expected to make this conference a success far beyond what we expected. Of in the end, I thank you all for making my dreams come true and I hope that our hospitality was up to par. We at DPS pride ourselves on our hospitality. And I think as Kashmiris, it represents the core of our culture and it represents who we are at the bottom of our hearts. In the end, all I have left to say to you is thank you. Thank you so much for trusting us. Thank you for giving us the opportunity to give you a chance to change the world, to raise your voices and to give you a glimpse at how solutions and problems are solved. DPSMUN is a platform for you to undertake this change. It's a platform for you to change the world. And I promise next year this platform will be bigger and better. I would take the privilege of closing DPSMUN 2023.